Hello, I'm Sandy Fisher, Regional Sales Manager with Innovonics. I've been with the company for 23 years, and I am as is board certified in physical security. I work with systems integrators and end users to help them create and implement security plans. This recorded webinar will provide an overview of Innovonics wireless technology, products, and applications. If you would like a PDF copy of this slide deck, email me, and I'd be happy to send it to you. Also, here's a couple links for identifying your main contact at Innovonics, as well as how to get more detailed product information such as data sheets, installation instructions, and design drawings. All right, let's begin. Innovonics EchoStream Wireless is a commercial grade RF platform designed for life safety alarm applications. This technology achieves robust and reliable performance in commercial and industrial job sites through a number of factors. First, 900 megahertz frequency and the associated wavelength that provide favorable propagation and long range. Frequency hopping spread spectrum to avoid radio interference and a small data payload that allows for increased receiver sensitivity. In other words, the receiver can hear a lower strength radio message allowing for greater wireless range. A small amount of energy creates a 900 megahertz signal, which means the transmitter endpoints have a low current draw providing long battery life. Innovonics is built for purpose. It is not publicly available and does not require IT management. EchoStream includes wireless repeaters, a full selection of transmitter endpoints, and numerous receiver interfaces for integration with any security system. The bottom line is that Innovonics is well suited for physical security applications. You can be confident specifying Innovonics since we have many years of proven effective performance in life safety applications. Innovonics is typically deployed in intrusion detection systems and for panic and duress alarm signaling. This provides cost effective risk mitigation in high risk environments. And that's the name of the game. We help our customers mitigate risk as part of their overall security plan. Innovonics can work hand in hand with video surveillance. For example, video can be used to assess a wireless motion alarm at the edge of a system. And a wireless motion endpoint can increase the validity of a motion triggered video event. A camera's onboard VMD may not be accurate in challenging scenes such as outdoors, at night, or at long distances. A wireless PIR can connect to a camera input port, eliminating useless footage that chews up storage and bandwidth. Innovonics is also used with access control systems. For wireless door release, the receiver should be connected to an input on a door controller, not directly to the strike, since that would log as a forced entry. Furthermore, a wireless door contact can log and monitor activity at uncontrolled openings such as side doors and back doors. As seen here, install a transmitter on a side door with a contact and connect a receiver relay output to a spare controller input. The receiver can get power from the controller or an existing power supply since it is low current draw, about 100 milliamps at 12 volts DC. This will complete the picture that access control logs provide to a security director as well as generating an alert of a propped door. Wireless endpoints can make intrusion detection more effective. The sequence of intrusion alarms is detect, delay, respond. Delay is defined as the amount of time between detection and when the adversary reaches the desired target. We want the delay time to be longer than the respond time so that the response can arrive in time to neutralize the intruder. A wireless sensor at a perimeter can accomplish this by detecting an intruder sooner, increasing delay time. Keep in mind the trade-offs between delay time and nuisance alarm rate when installing a sensor outdoors. Installing the sensor inside the fence may slightly reduce delay, but significantly reduce nuisance alarms from animals. Detecting an intruder inside an isolation zone is an ideal scenario. Innovonics avoids RF 
interference with frequency hopping spread spectrum. The transmitters send multiple redundant messages on 20 different frequencies within 902 to 928 megahertz. If there is interference on some channels, the other messages get through since the repeaters and receiver are listening to all frequencies in that ISM band. This happens automatically without any configuration. The reason 900 MHz propagates well in commercial environments with lots of metal in the construction materials is because of the shorter wavelength compared to the residential grade 300 MHz wireless wavelength, which is longer. Residential construction is mostly wood, whereas commercial and industrial construction uses metal studs, rebar, and more ducting and piping. To illustrate, think of the 300 megahertz wavelength as the size of a basketball and 900 megahertz the size of a baseball. When the basketball encounters a wall, it may bounce off a stud, but the baseball passes between studs because it is smaller. Unique to Innovonics is the wireless repeater mesh. These line-powered repeaters do not require any home run wiring or any wiring between them. Multiple repeaters can be used to provide up to 10 hops in large job sites. And this is how Innovonics scales on sites of any size, from small to massive. The power transformer is included, and each repeater has an onboard backup battery. It will run for up to a day in the event of a power outage and recharge when power is restored. Repeaters are fully supervised and have commercial UL listings. All right, now let's talk about receivers and systems interfaces. First, the EN7290 receiver connects directly to the ECP bus on Honeywell Vista 128 and Vista 250 panels. It's full point-to-point -point for zone alarms and trouble signals. Transmitter count is supported up to the capacity of the panel. This serial data approach saves money compared to add-on receivers that use expander modules and power supplies. The Innovonics interface emulates the existing construct of the panel, so it programs up just like Honeywell hardware. In other words, installers would need minimal training. The receiver is UL listed for commercial Berg. Innovonics also interfaces with Bosch G-Series and B-Series control panels, the Interlogix Networks platform, and ICT Protege, which is a combo access control and intrusion platform. The direct data connections make for seamless integration. For any security system where we do not have a direct interface, we have add-on receivers with Form C relay outputs. These outputs connect to zone inputs on virtually any system. There are three sizes. They have either four, five, or 11 alarm relay outputs. The receivers also have an additional output for reporting transmitter faults, such as tamper, low battery, and missing. Each receiver has a configuration capability on board, so no external programmer is needed. They are fully configurable and therefore allow for flexibility to meet the requirements of the security system. Now let's talk about transmitters. First, the universal and door transmitters. There are a few options. The EN1210 takes a normally open or normally closed sensor. The EN1210 EOL does as well, along with an end-line resistor if your spec calls for one, or if the loop between the transmitter and contact is normally open. The EN1210W has a reed switch on board and comes with a magnet, so this works well on a regular MAN door. The EN1210 and an external contact for an exterior metal door should be used in that case. The EN1215s have a wall tamper and require an end-of-line resistor, and they are UL listed. The EN1212 is a two-channel transmitter and can take two contacts, and the EN1252 is high power for double the range of the standard power transmitter. It can also take two inputs. Keep in mind that the receiver interface must support multiple condition transmitters in order to be able to distinguish the two zones separately. The add-on receivers and Honeywell interface support this feature. For indoor motion detection, we have a few options. The EN1260 
is a standard 50 by 50 90 degree unit and can be converted into a 100 foot curtain by swapping the Fresnel lens. The EN1262 is also a standard coverage pattern with 30 pounds pet immunity. The EN1265 is a 360 degree ceiling mount that covers a 60 foot diameter at an 18 foot ceiling height. There's a long range cap for a 25 foot ceiling height option as well. The EN1261HT is a high traffic PIR standard coverage and provides four year battery life in high traffic environments. Keep in mind that all wireless PIRs have a sleep time, so they should never be used for request to exit. Panic alarms. A number of options here with these part numbers. S stands for single button, D stands for double button activation, and F stands for fixed mount. The EN1223 pendants are water resistant, best suited for nurse call applications. They have a neck chain and an interchangeable belt clip. The EN1233s are ivory in color and come with a plastic chain, usually worn around the neck. The EN1235s are black and have a very sturdy belt clip. And the EN1235 SF and DF are fixed mounted, typically under a desk or on a wall. They have a back tamper and are UL listed. The EN1249 is a bill trap transmitter, usually mounted in the $100 bill slot of a cash drawer. The bottom bill is tucked under the flap, and when the last bill is pulled, a duress alarm is transmitted. There is a jumper setting option for a 10 second delay, so if a clerk or teller pulls the last bill by mistake, it can be reinserted within 9 seconds to avoid a nuisance alarm. The EN1247 is a glass break. It's an interlogic sensor with a 20 foot range of detecting the frequencies of breaking framed glass. Our smoke is UL268, which is a residential system listing. It's also CSFM, California State Fire Marshal. So if it's good enough for California, it's good enough for all of North America. Although it cannot be used for commercial UL systems, it may be used in a condo project, but check with the local fire marshal to make sure it's classified as RESI. Our newest sensor is a wireless carbon monoxide detector. It's UL2075, which is a gas vapor listing and a system listing, also CSFM. The sensor itself is commercial grade and has a 10-year life. By virtue of being part of the system, in addition to warning people to vacate the premise, it can also trigger actions to move bad air out or good air in. For remote relay activation, a universal transmitter can be activated by an auxiliary output on an alarm panel. That transmission would turn on an EN4204R receiver relay output, which in turn can complete a power supply loop delivering up to one amp at 12 volts DC to activate a remote siren. The EN1751 uh, is a wireless water detector transmitter. It works with the Honeywell FP280 water sensor to detect quarter inch of standing water. The, the EN1752 pictured here is a wireless temperature alarm. It has programmable high and low set points, an onboard temperature sensor, or it can use an external probe, the Honeywell T280R. You can download an application from the Innovonics website and get our USB cable to customize those set points. The, the, the defaults are 40 degrees for the low and 80 degrees for the high. For motion detection outdoors or in harsh or specialty environments, Innovonics transmitters are built into Optex I-Series. These are battery powered and fully supervised. There are a number of options with different coverage patterns and mounting heights. Some are passive for volume detection. Others are active PE beams for line detection. A couple examples are perimeters at construction sites, storage yards, or dock doors at a distribution warehouse. Here's a list of application ideas for wireless sensor deployments. Keep in mind your sensing strategy. One example is copper theft. You can establish a rooftop perimeter to protect a large air conditioning unit. This can increase delay time but also increase the nuisance alarm rate. 
whereas a contact sensor on the asset itself reduces delay time and nuisance alarm rate. All right, finally, to take the guesswork out of wireless range and repeater usage, Innovonics has a survey kit. Typically, you can expect up to a couple hundred feet of RF range per hop indoors and longer range outdoors where there are fewer obstacles. The EN7017 survey kit works with a free app you can download for Android or iOS. Your phone becomes the signal strength display. And here's how it works. First, as you can see here, clip the receiver to your belt loop. Then, Place the survey kit transmitter where the receiver will be installed and walk to each point where a transmitter will be installed. Observe the signal strength, and when you get into the red on the signal strength display, establish where a repeater can be installed, which is this green dot I just added, and move the survey kit transmitter to that location. Then keep walking to determine the next layer of coverage or the next hop. And then you will repeat that process until you've covered the entire site, thus building a chain link by link. And that's how the site survey is done. Well, thanks for listening. And again, if you would like to get a copy of this slide deck or additional information and specs on any of these products, just reach out to Innovonics and we can provide you with that information. Thank you.